bright orange, all those warm winter spices, a little bit of bubble, this is perfect for the holidays or New Year's Eve. So let's go shopping. All right, so first for our gin spice and everything nice, we need gin. And this, again, is the perfect gin um, because it has all the spice and everything nice. Uh, that barrel aging is gonna give it all those cinnamon and nutmeg and warm spice notes. And it is also our very own Dabbler Depot barrel pick. So this is a fun, unique product that you can't find anywhere else. On to our next one. The recipe also calls for Contro. We're gonna use Salerno Blood Orange Liqueur. I love this liqueur. It is bursting with real, authentic, delicious blood orange flavor. Um, plus, it's a gorgeous bottle. One more thing. And lastly, our bubbles. For this, we're going with a cava. It's from Spain, made in the traditional champagne method. And again, it's on our value shelf, so an awesome price point. Um, so it'll be perfect to use in our cocktail. And let's head to the studio. All right. So now that you've purchased all your booze, let me show you how to make our gin spice and everything nice cocktail. So one and a half ounces of our barrel aged gin. Three quarter ounces of your orange liqueur, blood orange liqueur. Three quarters ounce lemon. This is the imprecise way of doing it. Two dashes bitters. Ice. Coop glass, top of your cava. And if you already have your bottle open because you've just done your champagne toast for New Year's Eve, but you don't love just drinking bubbles, this is a great way to utilize the rest of your bottle. Just for my face. <laughs> Finish with more orange twill. Is that what we call that? and ground nutmeg. And that is how you make a gin spice and everything nice. 